YF Block are Huddersfield's most deadly and dangerous gang. In case you are not familiar with F Block, they are a gang based in the Huddersfield areas of Far Town who operate and specialize in serious organized crime. The gang has been around for decades and only seemed to get more ruthless as the generations go on. Here I will give you an insight as to why F Block are Huddersfield's most dangerous street gang. Late 2018, F Block began terrorizing the streets of Huddersfield with a whole new wave of violence. Violence the streets of Huddersfield had never seen before. Their crimes included multiple shootings and stabbings of rival gang members. Innocent civilians would often get caught in the crossfire. The crime rate significantly increased due to F Block's reign of terror and a number of people were left seriously injured, some dead. I cannot find any information for the reasons F Block started this sudden surge of violence, but I can find newspaper articles reporting some of their shocking crimes which left Huddersfield devastated. In 2019, Huddersfield-born journalist Moby Mazza made an award-winning documentary regarding recent gang violence in his hometown. F-Block were responsible for a large portion of the crimes featured in the series. F-Block shot a rival gang member in the head on a main road in broad daylight. I believe the victim was a member from one of F-Block's opposing gangs. Despite there being CCTV evidence of this incident circling throughout Huddersfield F-Block would face no police action. With no repercussions this would only take F-Block down an even more disturbing path. F-Block used what they call their op-block as a shooting range and anyone could end up as target practice. F-Block went on to do multiple shootings and as far as I'm aware from the supporting evidence that I can find, many members from F-Block were arrested in relation to the shootings but none were ever charged. This only made the members of F-Block even more brazen because they now knew that they could outsmart the police and get away with horrific crimes in order to impose fear and inflict serious harm on rival gang members. F-Block continued their carefully planned planned and organized drive-by shootings and executed them with such precision to leave no trace each and every time. F-Block shot at rival gang members in broad daylight on a busy road, Ruskin Grove, and again on Norfolk Avenue. The shootings would continue along with the stabbings but soon or later it was inevitable that the consequences would be fatal. F-Block between them have also stabbed countless rivals. Here I will show some of the supporting articles. The gang keep track of the pain they have inflicted on other gangs on what they call a scoreboard. Every time they shoot or stab another rival gang member they add a point to their board. It's quite sickening to think that's how such brutal attacks are being kept track of by the gang that are carrying them out. F-Block eventually took on alternative name BDG which stood for Broad Day Gang. After multiple articles were published with the words Broad Day Gang shooting or similar, at some point F-Block began to rap about their brutal and violent crimes in response to a rival gang's music video directed at them. F-Block BDG Block Cypher Police would go on to have this video removed from YouTube on two occasions but it has since been censored and now remains available to view. There are a number of F-Block members rapping in the music video, and although their identities are concealed I believe them to be Buta B, Gambino too loose and caps, the other members cannot be identified. Buta B a 16 year old F-Block member would continue to make music about the gang's crimes whilst the others remain in prison. There are rumors that F-Block shot one of their own members in the leg. This is believed to have been a warning for not doing enough for the gang. F-Block eventually divided and split into two separate gangs but the reason why is unknown. With F-Block now beefing F-Block the consequences were in fact deadly. On Saturday the 9th of December 2020 at 9.09pm Jamal Ned a 26 year old member of the gang was parked in his car on Ripon Avenue in Fartone when an unidentified gunman approached the vehicle firing one shot. A fatal shot to the head, Jamal Ned had suffered catastrophic injuries and was pronounced dead after paramedics could not save him. There have been multiple arrests for the murder of Jamal but no one has yet been charged. Jamal is said to have been gunned down by his own gang due to the divide in F-Block at the time. It is rumored to be over the distribution of illegal drugs that F-Block were involved in. F-Block have little or no regard for human life even if you are one of their own you can still fall victim to their savagery ways. F-Block are linked to some of Huddersfield's most notorious gangsters, Yasser Yaqub and Meggy Khan. Yasser was also shot dead but this time it was by the biggest gang of all time, the police. Meggy Khan was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Amri Zikbal in 2018. These are some other reasons why F Block are Huddersfield's most dangerous and deadly gang. Stay locked into the channel for more information and updates about F Block and other Huddersfield gangs.